No silicone was used to lube this cube. Hey guys, Andrew here, and today I'm going to be talking about an interesting thing I discovered. Um, so, most of us, we use a silicone-based lubricant on our cubes, like, I usually use Traxxas Differential Lube 30K weight. You might use Lubix, or perhaps some shock oil, or like Calvin Lube or something. <clears throat> Heavy duty silicone. But all of those are silicone based. And I actually found a different lube that works pretty much the same as silicone. And maybe a little bit better, I'm not sure. But it's going to be a little weird and you're going to think I'm crazy. But, yeah. You probably can't tell what this is. It's super glue. And it only works on his Angie. Because, I'm not sure why. Well, I am sure why. But it's weird and I'm not sure exactly sure that I'm right. If that makes sense. But anyway, I tried it on this cube. And it really didn't work too well. But that's not a Zanchi, that is a Ling Yun. And but on every Zanchi I've tried it on, that's not one. It's worked really well. And I think the reason it works so well on a Zanchi is because if you notice, um here, let me grab another Zanchi. Um that I haven't done it to. Here we go. So if you notice on a Zanchi, um let me see, let me get some light on here. Light. There we go. Um, let's see, can you see that? I can't tell if it's focused. But anyway, right here it's got this gap. In that gap, um, it reduces friction. So when you have that gap, it reduces friction on the pieces. But what it also does is it distributes the weight of the piece along the, um, the core badly. And I think what the um, super glue does is it kind of fills up that gap, but then it wears down so that it's still really smooth. And it just makes the weight distributed evenly. But the thing is when you lube it with um, when you lube it with super glue, I'm going to show you what you have to do. You can't just put it in because that would actually like you know, glue your cube together, as you might expect. You have to put a bunch in, and then quickly work it in before it has time to um, really glue anything together. And it won't really slow down because all the all the um, all the super glue is doing is filling up extra spots on the pieces. So I'm just going to keep doing this for about 10 minutes now. And we should see some improvement after that. Alright, so I've been breaking this in for about 10 minutes or so, just to make sure the glue didn't dry improperly. And I can tell you it's amazing, like, compared to what it was before, it's just so smooth. Um, and, yeah, that's about it for this video, um, I hope you try this, because it works really well, and thanks for watching, you'll see me on my next video.